Neil. Gosh, it's 10.30 and it's uh, 30 degrees. Kind of chilly today. I'm trying to use this GoPro more, do some, uh, as you all call it, a one-on-one -on -one video in here. Let's see how that goes. I was trying to use the Canon, but it was just way too heavy to try to hold up and keep it balanced and microphone on it and all that junk. So hopefully the GoPro will work out pretty good for this. We'll see how it goes today. Headed to uh, two different places this morning. I'm going to Harbor Freight because I need some casters. And I got one of those 20% off coupons that email you like twice a day. So we'll take advantage of that. And then I'm going to run over to either Lowe's or Home Depot. It depends on traffic. Lowe's is kind of hard to get into. There's no red light right there. And uh, traffic's pretty bad this time of day over on the main highway. But anyways, both those stores have the same thing, so it really doesn't matter that much. I gotta get a uh, three quarter inch piece of plywood. I'll probably have those guys rip it while it's there, instead of me cutting it down at home. And about 15 to 20 two befores. Build a lumber rack today, guys. I had a lumber rack at the old shop, but uh, it's kind of embarrassing. I built it too big to move it. Couldn't even get out the door over there, so I just left it there. It wasn't really good design anyways. It was way too big. Just too big. Took up too much space. This one will not be as large, but this one will be a whole lot better. plywood at Lowe's, to put it one way, was junk. Every single piece of three-quarter had voids in it, splits. One of them had screw holes, I guess, where somebody screwed it down and then brought it back. I have no idea what happened there. So now, I'm going to drive across town here, or down the road, rather, not really across town, see if Home Depot's got any kind of a better plywood selection. We don't have a proper... Uh, lumber a deal around here as far as uh, cabinet grade plywood and stuff like that that I'm aware of. So when you need plywood, you have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot. That's about all the choice you have. There's uh, stores over in North Carolina that have nice stuff, but who wants to drive an hour away for a piece of plywood? Traffic is just terrible today on this road. It's horrible. guys this is what's going on right now in the shop i'll get that wood unloaded here in a few minutes had a few questions on the last video about the table saw and whether or not i would put a zero clearance insert 
And if you're not familiar with that, the other insert that I had on there, let's see, it's right here. It's pretty wide, and I got another one for a dado stack actually that came with it. Look over the mess in here. I've been getting my sharpening stones kind of cleaned up here. And I got a new one the other day actually. I need to share with you guys. It's a uh it's that one out there. It's 12,000 grit right there, that water stone. But that's a whole other topic right there. So anyways, got off track there a little. I put this on yesterday. This is a zero clearance insert. And as you can see, it's really thin right here where the blade comes up. And this was actually solid. And what I did was, was installed it, made sure it was level with the table right here turned on the saw and slowly raised that up to cut the curve right here that you're looking at. It should prevent tear out when we're cutting stock on the table saw. And right now I'm working on this Inkera miter fence. I started this last night. This is the Inkera 5000. I bought this with the table saw. And it's got two purposes. It's a miter gauge right here. It goes in the miter slot. It also doubles as a crosscut sled because it can slide across like this. This whole piece will slide. It has a lot of other parts that go on it right here, the opposite direction. I need to get this thing assembled. So let me get this thing hooked up, and then we'll open up the garage doors and bring in the rest of that wood we got at Home Depot. smooth except for that off cut falling on the floor and before you guys start commenting let me save you the time I know I need an outfeed table that's on my list of things to build here for this table saw but you are exactly right I do need to build an outfeed table without a doubt that's probably the next second or third project coming up in the shop here this winter so we got that done that is nice right there. Uh, Guy's Wood Shop, I'll leave a link down below to his YouTube channel. He's on Instagram also. I saw him use this sled in a video. It's been a while back, maybe a few years ago. And ever since I saw that, I thought, man, that's just a really nice sled. It looks like it works really good. And he is exactly right about that. This is really smooth right here. Very nice tool. And a little disclaimer, just like this table saw, I bought this with my own money. This is not a sponsored video or trying to sell you guys anything. But when I find a tool like this that I think is worthwhile, I'll let you guys know about it. And I'll leave a link down below to Amazon. That's an affiliate link. You guys know what that means, but uh, I'll leave a link down below to this sled you can buy it on Amazon. I actually bought this through Grizzly with the table saw.
Looks good. Nice and square. Let's call it a night. Thank you.